people get Huntington's disease. Ideas are incredibly energizing uh, for me. Research is just this place where you can invent and you're limited by and large by what you can conceive of and, and execute. I'm thrilled by the challenge of that, the potential to actually have a big impact. So when I started my own lab here at Utah, I wanted to have intellectual freedom, but at the same time we wanted to aim the guns on really hard, high impact problems. The projects we're working on in the lab are all geared towards studying gene expression in different cell types in the brain. So we're basically looking at the epigenome, which is this series of marks that get layered on top of your DNA and tell your genes how to express themselves. And those marks can change depending on your diet, exercise, level of stress, illness, drug exposure, all these different things. You can't change the DNA you're born with, but you can change how that DNA is expressed. And if we could understand the epigenome better, this could impact people's lives in a huge way. Our unique angle is looking at the genes you inherit from your mom and dad and how those genes might be expressed differently because of these epigenetic marks. And then from there, we're trying to figure out how to battle neurological disease and mental illness. I've assembled this remarkably talented team and suite of technologies and expertise to solve this really hard problem. I spent a few years in Los Angeles at UCLA working in a human genetics lab. Coming to Utah was a big surprise, even to myself. All my friends and family thought I was crazy. <laughs> Not being from Utah, having spent so much time in California and really thinking I would stay there. But I just really fell in love with the program, the city itself, as well as the gorgeous surrounding geography of Utah. There was just this gut feeling um, that I couldn't ignore, and I haven't regretted it since, so. Chris really focuses the lab on each individual's career development and their success. His first question is, what do you want to find out? What questions do you want to ask? <laughs> you really have room to grow and be creative and ask big questions. We're moving the conversation forward by leaps as opposed to incremental steps. Since I started the Greg Lab, we've had some really high impact papers come out, postdocs have gone on to win prestigious awards, and we're even starting to found biotech startup companies. So there's really a lot of opportunity here. If you're looking for a career where you can dream big, go after tough questions, use and develop state-of-the-art technology while living in this incredibly beautiful and vibrant city, it really doesn't get much better than this.